Enter the Dragon was bittersweet because Bruce Lee died a month before the release of Enter the Dragon. So he never got to see his life goal be achieved, which was to become the first Chinese American to ever star in a Hollywood movie. Enter the Dragon was quite brutal as a filming process, largely because almost everything rested on Bruce Lee and being the center of all the action. So almost all the choreography and the fight scenes Bruce Lee designed and acted out himself. And as a result, it was brutal. He lost 20 pounds of weight. He wasn't sleeping. He wanted this movie to be his breakout movie. He'd spent his entire career waiting for this moment to star in a Hollywood movie, and he couldn't let go. And so in many ways, he wore himself down, and that, we think that that's what made him vulnerable and ultimately led to his death. Enter the Dragon was the first time a Chinese American had ever starred in a Hollywood movie. And the fact that it was such an amazing success opened the door for Chinese talent throughout Hollywood. Even the New York critics who were worried about the violence in the film were moved by it. It made $90 million that year, and since its release, it's made $350 million. It made Bruce Lee an overnight sensation, even though he was already dead. And it launched the entire kung fu craze, that for two or three years, there were 30 kung fu movies playing in New York City alone. So there was the Carlos Delgado had the song, Everybody Was Kung Fu Fighting. It, it launched this craze for Eastern culture. It also inspired millions and millions of young Westerners to start studying Kung Fu. What many people don't realize is that while he wanted to be a bigger star than Steve McQueen, his role model for his career was Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood had gone to Italy to launch his movie career in the same way that Bruce Lee had gone to Hong Kong to launch his Hollywood movie career. And I think he would have followed in many ways the footsteps of Clint Eastwood. He would have acted in different movies, different genres for about a decade, and then slowly he would have shifted over to directing and producing his own movies. Because I think for Bruce Lee, being in control of his art was more important than the fame associated with being an actor. He certainly would have been big on Twitter. He loved short aphorisms and puns. He loved to talk. He would have been all over Twitter.